Hello and welcome to the show. So some of you might remember, uh, probably a few months ago now, we found the greatest motorsport in the world, which was Daihatsu Midget Racing. However, it now has some competition, as you can guess from the vehicle on the screen at the moment. Uh, we're going to be doing some van racing in Forza 4 between the GMC Vandura and the Ford Transit. Now to make sure these two vehicles were even, I wasn't sure quite how balanced it was going to be with the standard vehicles, they were allowed to be upgraded to D-Class uh, in the hope that yeah, it would make the racing a little bit closer and it would make the vans not quite handle uh, like a boat or less like a boat. So the first race was at the Sakuba Short Circuit, a very, very tight and twisty uh, layout with some very, very large vehicles. The first corner can be chaos with cars when we race around here. With vans, I was expecting it to be a lot worse than it was, actually. Uh, there was a little bit of pushing, there was a little bit of bumping, which is not particularly surprising. However, everybody got around the first corner relatively cleanly, and everybody got to the hairpin relatively cleanly. Yes, it was too wide. I think it was three wide at one point uh, through all of the chaos. It was Husky, though, that uh, would hit a curb a little bit too hard and cause a problem. Uh, we've seen vehicles roll through there before, Huskies roll through there before, and uh, yeah, Husky would end up on his side and slightly out of the race. Took somebody with him um, as well, or put somebody into the wall. I also very, very nearly rolled on that curb. Yeah, that curb, pretty nasty. Something you had to be aware of with, uh, with these vans. I'd started at the back of the field and was making my way up the order, uh, getting on the inside of a transit. Uh, somebody in the background there, you can just see that I only just noticed when I came to edit this, rolled in the first corner, and I'm, that was impressive. Well done to have rolled your vehicle there. The vans uh, did tip over relatively easily, but the racing was being surprisingly good. We were racing vans, and things were going, yeah, relatively well so far. Uh, with the grid being on random and with there being the odd bit of bumping on the first lap, uh, some of the cars that sort of towards the back were uh, trying to make their way forward. This green transit, uh, a little bit unfortunate, got put out of position for the first part of that back straight and then get overtaken by two cars uh, in the space of a single corner. The SpongeBob Transit was continuing to make his way through the order, first getting past somebody uh, at the hairpin and trying to get on the inside of the vehicle, the next vehicle in the line as well. Didn't quite work, actually ended up slightly out of position uh, for the Dunlop Bridge, stayed around the outside though. Uh, GMC Vandura hit the curb a little bit too hard and went off to meet Husky as there's going to be a little collection of vehicles <laughs> at that corner. Wasn't expecting uh, everything to fall over quite so easily um, on that curve. We round the final corner. There was a little bit of a transit train. Uh, they all sort of tried to find position. The SpongeBob Transit actually got a big slide out of there. Was uh, under considerable threat from a dark green transit uh, coming in towards the first corner. However, he couldn't quite get the move done and uh, everybody was to remain in the same positions uh, for now. There's another big slide uh, from the tra There was quite a few sort of sideways moments from vehicles. Again, wasn't particularly expecting that. As I said, I'd started at the back of the field and uh, yeah, was uh, was fighting my way through the order. I joined up with the Vandura train. There was, I think there's about six Vanduras and ten transits, so us, us with our GMCs were massively outnumbered, but we were currently in fourth, fifth and sixth, and this battle for fourth was by far the biggest uh, <laughs> in the entire field. I found myself uh, in that very awkward place, and the, 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 gr the grey van had found it before me, is you want to attack the vehicle in front, you're trying to get past the vehicle in front that you're perhaps a little bit quicker than. The problem is, if you go on the maximum attack, you're going to leave yourself open um, for the car behind. You can see I very nearly got caught out by the grey transit, uh, grey Vandura, sorry, going past. It wouldn't matter too much as I got a huge two-wheel moment, managed to save it and didn't collect any of the scrapyard. Uh, did lose a position for all of a corner. Uh, I'm not quite sure how I got away with that so well. Uh, <laughs> very nearly rolled the vehicle and then by the next corner I'd managed to get the position back. I just got a, a decent run onto that sort of small back straight uh, and managed to wait my, make my way back up into fifth. At the front, things were close. They weren't as quite as close as at the fourth place squabble, but they were still all very, very close. The yellow transit uh, was leading, the other vehicles were back markers that had taken a trip through the pit lanes, but things were still close. There was a bit of a rescue operation going on um, as well. Yeah, you could see the top six were just about within shot of each other, which is pretty damn good. 
uh, considering. But it turned out that all of the vehicles were fairly balanced. There wasn't anything that was massively overpowered in a straight line. I think the, the transits were a little bit better through the corners. The Vanduras a little bit better on a straight because that varied depending on how you'd built yours. Although everything seemed to be fairly even. So I imagine we all had roughly the same idea when it came to building them. I was now after the fourth place having lost a considerable amount of time uh, in, in this scrap. Third was kind of out of the question. It had vanished up the road. So uh, yeah, we were we were having our own little race uh, for fourth. I had a look at going around the outside. It's pretty hard getting that to work in a car. In a van, nah, it's not. It's not really. I gave it a go. It was worth a try, but uh, couldn't quite make it stick. A little bit too far back to have a go at the hairpin. So I had to settle for sort of holding position. A little bit of a trickier track to overtake. Uh, on this one, other than the, than the normal Sukuba layout, especially in these in these vehicles. Uh, however, the van in front, fortunately for me, got a big slide uh, on the exit of this corner, allowing me to get up the inside onto the very short back straight. And as I said uh, a minute ago, big on the outside is a pretty tough thing to do. And the blue Vandora couldn't quite hold position around there. However, I was running a little bit wide on the exit. The blue Vandura was thinking about having a go up the inside. I outbreak myself a little bit uh, into the first quarter. I thought I was about to lose the position. Uh, however, I managed to sort of keep enough momentum around the outside of the corner and uh, retain the position. And now there was a transit had joined in our little Vandura crew. On the final lap, and things at the front had uh, tightened up between the lead two. Third place had dropped back just a little bit uh, from these two. Uh, as they come on to the final lap, there was a back marker uh, in front of them. They both dived to the inside. I think the back marker went to give them space. and uh, wasn't expecting the transits not to be particularly fast uh, <laughs> off the corner. Then you're caught at a really bad place. This is a terrible place to, uh, to be catching somebody through here. You can't really do very much. The, the yellow transit ends up on the outside. The back marker dives to the inside to let them pass. Uh, the, the yellow transit, in the end, uh, the, the slide there you see cost him the lead and cost him the race win in the end uh, if he hadn't had that slide I think he probably would have kept on the inside through these next two corners and I very highly doubt you could go around the outside of both parts of them I don't think it could have been done by the uh, the red and white transits uh, and in the end the uh, the yellow transit is going to have to settle uh, for second place it, it was a very good first race at Sakuba things worked a lot better than expected at a track that doesn't really suit 16 vans uh, to be racing around I had got myself into the fourth and just created a little bit of a safe gap uh, back to these two, but it was now it was now the squabble for fifth place between <laughs> the other two Vanduras, and as they round the uh, the final few corners, uh, as I said, staying on the outside through there, I don't think would quite have worked. As you see, the, the blue Vandura just ran out of room. Uh, allowing the grey one up to fifth. In the end, it finished one, two, three for the transits and four, five, six for the Vanduras, and it was a transit that would come in seventh. Very, very nearly got the blue Vandura on the line there. It was, a, yeah, it was a highly enjoyable and uh, exciting first race. A second race headed to the Silverstone National Circuit again. Another fairly short circuit, and I found myself at the back. My Vandura was very quick off the line. I'm not sure if anybody, if the other Vanduras, were noticeably quick, but uh, I got a very, very fast launch. I also managed to find a gap that was literally a Vandura's length uh, in that first corner. Got a little bit lucky. When I looked at that replay, I didn't realise quite how close that was. Everything went wrong um, through here, which is not surprising. This is normally where the chaos happens. Somebody at the front uh, managed to roll their vehicle, and the problem is the vehicles further back just couldn't see. There was literally a sea of vans in front of you, and you had no idea what was going on further up. So the vehicles in front of me were more cautious as they were trying to avoid the roll. The vehicles behind me just couldn't see what was happening and in the end I got pushed into the van in front of me and suffered quite a bit of damage and the problem with these are because these vehicles were surprisingly very very evenly matched you take a small bit of aero damage or in my case quite a bit of aero damage you really struggle with your straight line speed sounds crazy because I'm talking about a van here but uh, you actually do I still managed to get a double overtake in the final quarter uh, almost got up the inside of a third car as well but uh, yeah I would get mugged on the straight uh, a little bit at the front and uh, this was the battle for second place the the spongebob transit looking at the outside thinks better of it it's a, not a good place to try go around the outside cuts back to the inside and uh, still they go side by side further back there was a note there was a change of position for fourth place yeah fourth place was being argued over 
uh, yet again. The, the transits were battling up towards the Magus and Beckett section. In the end, the red and white transit just outbreaks himself. Very easy to do that here. Uh, nearly, nearly collides into the side of the rolled vehicle. I don't particularly like the corner that comes off the comes off the Magus and Beckett section here. It's a bit of a nasty corner, this one. Uh, the red and white transit uh, sort of lost so much speed coming onto this back straight. That's the problem. Not only if you outbreak yourself can you lose a position, you lose all of that momentum down this relatively long back straight. However, the transit was still on the inside for the next corner and the Vandera didn't quite have the grip to hold it around the outside and was too far back to have a look into the final corner. Husky had been involved in the first sort of quarter, the first roll, uh, however it hadn't been his his fault this time, the rolling vehicle had uh, clipped the side of him, spun him round, not taking any damage, just lost an awful lot of time as he went round the outside of two vehicles that then collided into each other on the final corner. Yeah, Husky got a little bit lucky uh, on that one, avoiding all of that chaos, and then he too does the cutback into the first corner with a transit that runs a little bit wide, uh, then you've got the sort of the drag race down to the Magnum Beckett section, and the Vandura was quick enough to get the position. The Vanduras were, yeah, if you were undamaged in this race, you had a pretty big advantage uh, when it came to the straight line speed, as there was a fair bit of bumping going on uh, on the opening lap. This was fourth place, yet again, being uh, rather vigorously argued over. The, the Vandura was trying to hold off a couple of transits. There was me, and uh, I think there was another Vandura, and Husky were all behind and catching quite quickly. The blue Vandura did seem to be struggling a little bit and was uh, doing his best to fend off the transits. The red and white transit ran very, very wide around that final corner. Turned out to be a good move as he managed to... I don't know, I'm not sure how he got such a good drive out of that corner to get around the outside of the other transit. Me and Husky were side by side uh, in the background. Wasn't much of a fight. Husky got past pretty easily uh, on that one, which is better straight line speed. And the blue Vandura held, held fourth place for now. A lap later, and it was Husky trying to go around the outside of a transit into the first corner that would all end disastrously. Just a tiny tap from the transit uh, put Husky round. I had just nowhere to go. Uh, ended up in the back of a transit, um, and then ended up parked in the middle of the road as well. Not so good on that one. Yeah, it was just the tiniest of taps, I think. People not quite realising how wide uh, their vehicles were. Tiny, tiny tap put a Husky round. Fourth place was still... Uh, <laughs> yeah rather hotly contested a few vehicles were now out of this this can with out of this race husky the transit had both had both dropped back still three of them were arguing over it. a transit was in a in a vandura sandwich as they come around the final corner bit of a touring car maneuver there from the transit just gives the vandura a bit of a bump forces him a little bit wide and the transit gets up the inside problem is the transit that was the one that i got pushed into at the start had a fairly significant aero damage meaning he was struggling with straight line speed and the Vandura could go flying back past uh, <laughs> the minute they came to a straight making the Vandura quite difficult to overtake you can see the, the size of the gap he's got by the time they get to the first corner uh, yeah a little bit of a problem overtaking that vehicle especially on a track like this that is three large straights I'm not quite sure where the other Vandura was going but um, never mind at the front there was to be no last lap overtake for the or on the yellow transit I should say as, as he rounds the final corner, led from the off pretty much, uh, avoided all of the chaos and got a fairly sizable margin. You can just about see second place, that's not it, that was a lap down car with a broken engine. Just about see second place coming into shot uh, at the very end. But it was again to be a transit 1, 2, 3, I think it was a transit 1, 2, 3, 4 in fact. The Vanduras were not doing quite so well in this one. Our third and final race went to the Hockenheim short circuit. I love this place for racing. Uh, with cars, it produces very close racing, so I wondered what would happen with transits. Well, it produced a big first quarter crash. Uh, not uncommon here, uh, when everybody's constantinering into sort of one point, and you've got some very, very wide vehicles. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that took out quite a few people. Uh, there was a transit on the outside of the, uh, the second corner that lost two or three places uh, just from being in the wrong place. If you end up out of position on this opening lap with vehicles, vehicles such as these you can find yourself in quite a lot of trouble you can lose a lot of places very very quickly uh, at the start of the race the Vandura has held the top four positions which wouldn't to, wasn't to last long uh, transit's having a look up the inside of a Vandura I'm up the inside of a Vandura through this very very fast 
quite a scary place to overtake. Uh, in the end, nobody makes any any place changes, and then there is a large train down to the hairpin. The transit's looking at the outside. A little bit of a bump. There's a transit up the inside of another transit. There was plenty of overtaking on this opening lap, which is good, which is what we want to see. There was a large group of cars. Um, and I ended up on the outside of all of them. As I said, you don't want to be out here. It's not a good place to be. As uh, <laughs> the transit dives up the inside and overtakes three Vanduras in the final corner. We all end up coming a little bit too close together. It all goes a little bit mental. And... Um Somehow we all get out the other side relatively safely. Uh, in the background, Vandura and a Transit have it coming together. I'm on the inside coming in towards the first corner. You don't really want to go too wide through here. Held my breath uh, a little bit. Luckily, you have plenty of runoff, uh, which the, the, van the other Vandura uses uh, a little bit of. But I'm on the inside for the next corner. There's a Transit in the like, right behind us as well, waiting to pick up any pieces if somebody runs a little bit wide. It was a busy 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 first lap for me uh, as I said there was a, a rather large first quarter incident uh, in this one which uh, sadly saw quite a few vehicles um, with heavy damage I'm not entirely sure this is towards the back of the field with some of these vehicles that were uh, rather broken rather struggling with uh, with broken engines or just damaged air it was amazing how much of a difference uh, a bit of aero damage made which is kind of a testament to how evenly matched these vehicles were I was surprised, actually, that the, the, the Transits and the Vanduras were very, very evenly matched. In this little squabble, the uh, the poor Vandura was the quicker car. It just had such a broken engine, the minute it came to a straight, it couldn't really do anything. The green, the green Transit tried to go around the outside. Well, points for effort, but uh, couldn't quite make it stick. Ended up understeering a little bit wide. Guess what position everybody was arguing over yet again? Yes, it would be fourth place. But uh, everybody seemed <laughs> seemed to want this time. It was uh, two transits with a Vandura in the middle. Um, <laughs> I don't know why fourth place. Everybody wanted the fourth place um, <laughs> today. As I said earlier, uh, on this track is, it was especially noticeable that the Vanduras just had that little bit of straight line. I think there were less broken vehicles in this race, at least towards the front. Further back, it was a bit more spread out. But towards the front, unlike the Silverstone one, when quite a lot of cars had aero, a bit hard to judge. It was noticeable the Vanduras just had that little bit more in straight line speed the transits were just that little bit quicker through the corners uh, which made things interesting it made this little uh, squabble quite interesting uh, the the transit was trying to find its way past uh, the Vandura as they come in towards the second corner I like the Hockenheim short circuit as uh, there is an awful lot of overtaking opportunities even for vans that it was it was a bit harder overtaking in vans than, uh, than in normal vehicles there was still loads of overtaking opportunities around this track which is why I like to use this track uh, fairly regularly for, for versus the community as they come up towards the end of the lap the, the transit that was in fourth runs very, very wide. Easily done there. If you just outbreak yourself a little bit, you can end up in uh, in quite a lot of trouble. And then it's uh, all side by side through here. The transit manages to hold the position around the outside. Well done on that. Uh, that's always a tough place uh, to keep your to keep your vehicle. The Vanduras are sort of trying to get underneath uh, the transit. The, the transit in sixth is now up the inside. Uh, it's side by side through this very sort of fast can. My favourite overtaking place would be here. If you can dive to the inside, you can catch somebody out. Uh, the transit could, tries to go the long way around. Ends up not quite working out. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen somebody go around the outside. Uh, of their transit gave it a go, but just couldn't quite get the vehicle stopped. He's now under threat from the blue Vandura having a look at the inside towards the first quarter. Drag race down the, down the start, finish straight. It's... <sighs> Overtaking in this first quarter is pretty damn tough in the end. The, the Vandura just can't quite get the move done. Uh, while, while the Vandura that had held off the transit for so long went for a tumble and ended up on its side uh, at the front of the field. While all of that had been going on, Husky had run wide at the final corner, uh, allowing the transit into the lead and allowing me to catch up. Uh, so it was now a three-way squabble for the lead. Uh, between two Vanduras. Vanduras were doing better this time around. And the Transit. The Transit holds the position around the outside of the very fast corner. Again, uh, pretty damn impressive. And while Husky was so busy trying to find his way past the car in front, hadn't paid enough attention to me who dived up the inside. Uh, the first opportunity I got at the hairpin. So Husky unfortunately lost two places um, in that lap. And it was now my job to try and hunt down the Transit and give a Vandura it's uh, its first victory this evening. I'm still not sure who actually gave me the fail team paint job on this van, so thank you to whoever did it. I, I honestly, I'm not entirely sure where I got it from, but uh, yeah, I do like I do like uh, the fail team one. So you come up towards the first quarter. I was close 
behind the leader. Things were to go disastrously wrong for Husky. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what caused his van to roll. He did well to save it. Unfortunately, he had to throw it into the wall to avoid the stricken vehicle that had rolled earlier. Um, yeah, that first quarter was proving interesting. And uh, <laughs> we carried on uh, with our race at the front. For the back, this was the, the battle for ninth place between... <laughs> between two of the transits. The yellow transit, I don't know sure if it was more damage or just the way the car was built, was not quite as fast in a straight line as the, the red and white one, which meant that he just could not find a way past. These guys raced like this for, I think, four laps, three or four laps towards the end of the race, and the, uh, the yellow transit was throwing absolutely everything he could at the car in front, or the van in front, I should say, trying to get past. If you can get a good run out of this final corner, you might be able to pull up alongside uh, into turn one, and the, the yellow transit does get much better drive out of that final corner. He just can't, hasn't quite got the straight line speed. There's some recovery going on. Uh, <laughs> at the side of the screen, just can't quite get enough uh, to pull alongside the vehicle in front and again coming up towards the second corner, now he's on the inside just can't quite do it, he hasn't, just hasn't got the speed to pull alongside even when he gets a better exit, he manages to sort of force the point uh, on the second corner uh, there's a, a sort of, a, it's kind of a straight, it's more of a curvy straight if that makes sense uh, it's all flat out down here and the red, and, the red and white transit has enough speed to keep the position. There's a big slide going on there uh, into this section. The yellow transit's up the inside, just runs out of it, runs out of room and is now slightly out of shape uh, for this next corner. Can't try and overtake and manoeuvre through here a little bit too far back. Best bet, get a good run out of here into the hairpin. You can have a dive up the inside, but again, the yellow transit is too far back. At the front, and I was, I wanted to get a victory for the Vanduras, so I was pushing pretty hard, and as the transit that was leading ran very wide, uh, we saw m multiple cars uh, running wide that, at that corner, I did it at some point as well, very easily done. I had a dive up the inside, ended up with a very shallow line through the next corner though, and again, the transit had enough grip to stay around the outside, and I couldn't capitalise um, as we come into the hairpin. Yeah, it was... Uh, <laughs> I, I tried, I threw as much as I could uh, at the transit in front, as I said, this is my, my favourite overtaking opportunity uh, on this track, is have a dive into this second to last corner, I was too far back though, there was nothing I could do, we were pushing blooming hard, both of us, uh, dipping a wheel onto the drag strip, don't mind the other cars, uh, <laughs> we're trying to recover themselves, uh, the transit goes a little bit defensive into the first corner, realises I'm not really that much of a threat, comes back to, to, to your normal racing line, if I could get a good exit out of this corner, I would have a chance into the second turn but wasn't quite close enough and the transit would remain in the lead and that was the way the positions would stay i i'd throw everything i could uh, at the transit and i couldn't i couldn't find a way past in the end just had a little bit too much speed for me and the transits were going to take a third victory out of three vanduras fared better this time around though we got a second with me husky ended up third despite his uh, <laughs> Very near, very near miss on the first. I'm not even sure what curb caused him to roll on that first corner. It's a little bit of an odd one. Uh, that These guys, as I said, continued their battle for the, the remainder of the race. Uh, and the yellow transit just could not find a way past. On oh, this final lap was just a little bit too far back into the hairpin. These next couple of corners, unless you have a dive at the inside... Uh, through this sort of the second to last corner your best bet is to get a very good drive out of the final corner uh, is the red and white transit a sort of defensive he's going to have a sort of a poor line off this final corner and uh, the yellow transit's best chance is to get a better drive out of this final final corner uh, however he just doesn't quite have the speed one more lap and it would have been interesting as the, the yellow transit was on the inside for turn one uh, yeah but as it is the red tran the red and white transit took i think it was ninth position and then <laughs> the ai derps out and crashes into a wall but um there we go that was some van racing it was huge huge amounts of fun actually um there was there were a few incidences which is not particularly surprising considering the tracks we were driving on uh, very very short very tight with the vehicles but nah, it was it was good fun there was lots of good racing and the vehicles were uh, very evenly balanced which it surprised me a little bit, actually, but it was a good thing. Uh, that's what makes the racing interesting, the, clo the, the more evenly matched the vehicles are. But, of course, if you do get a little bit of damage, the smallest amount of aero damage can be a, a real pain with uh, such closely matched vehicles. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.